I, um, I just wanted to share my view of my worship. Of course, every situation is different. But if you find yourself in one like mine, I hope you make the right choice. Because I didn't. Alright, I was 17 when I found out I was pregnant. Senior year in high school. Half, not even halfway through the year. Found out in December. My boyfriend is completely against it. And I loved him more than anything in the world, so... I told him I would think about it. That's when he started saying, please don't do this to me, Sam. Please don't do this to me. Saying that he's going to drop out of school. And it's going to ruin his life. Can't afford it. So... I agreed. When the week before my abortion, I got sent into the hospital, into the ER, because I had lost over 20 pounds in two weeks due to morning sickness. And they were scared something was wrong with my baby. So while I was at the hospital, I was there for 12 hours. While I was there, they gave me an ultrasound. He was right beside me. I watched my baby move. Wave her hand at me. Move her feet. I watched her squirming. I heard her heartbeat. It was perfect. I thought there was no way that my boyfriend could continue on saying, no, you need an abortion. I thought there was no way. I knew him. I've been with him for five years now. He's gonna crack and he's gonna tell me, no, babe, please don't do this. And when we got back to the room, he was just staring at me and got mad at me because I said, I don't think I can do this, babe. And he went on his whole rant again, getting even more aggravated, saying that you've been lying to me, like you're really gonna put me through this, like I would have already dropped out by now, like you can't just go ahead and change your mind. So I apologized to him. I said, okay, babe, I'm sorry. I just, I, you just can't be mad at me if I can't go through with it. I'll try for you. Because I don't want to lose you. But I can't promise you that I'm going to go through with it tomorrow. Because I love it. I don't care about the possibilities of it having some sickness or whatever. I don't care. I want my baby to have a chance to have a life. The next day I was in for my abortion. I was shaking. I just kept picturing it. And as I was picturing it, I was thinking, I don't want you to not have a dad. And I don't want to lose him. I don't want to lose him again. So I went through with it. The nurses kept asking me, and the psychologist kept asking me, are you sure this is what you want to do? It's only your decision, right? I kept saying, yeah. 
No one else is convincing me. My baby should be almost a month old now. I shouldn't be sitting here making this video. I should be sitting here tweeting her, playing with her, watching her sleep. And that kills me every day. All I want to do is give up now. Because I don't have her. I don't care about him anymore. He convinced me to kill my baby. I, I'm never gonna let anybody go ahead and take advantage of me like that. I'm never gonna be that weak to not follow my heart on something. Never. I just hope that you make the right decision. Cause it kills you. I cry myself basically every night to sleep. And all I think about is her. I'm disgusted with myself. Just make sure it's what you want, not what someone else wants. I take it back in a heartbeat.